Hi, I'm Brian, and today we'll be talking about the P5 March-June 2017 question paper, Requirement 4. I'll read to you the requirement. Explain how the building block model works as required by the CEO. You will find this over here. Okay, so um, when we're looking at this requirement, it seems to be quite a straightforward uh, question. However, they did write there um, as required by the CEO. That means you need to find in the context above what the CEO is actually looking for. Um, the first quote that you can find is probably around here. One non-executive director suggested using Fitzgerald's and Moon's building block model. Now, can you find the CEO's requirement in that paragraph? Yes, the CEO's requirement is over here. She currently needs you to explain to the board what is meant by results and determinants in this context and how the dimensions link to standards and targets. So for six marks, pretty straightforward. You can almost memorize the question. Don't expect many types of this type of question though. Uh, many instances of this because you know P5 is not that kind of paper. So let's take a look at um, the model answer here. So there's two parts in the CEO's requirement, as you can see, which is explain what is meant by results and determinants and how dimensions link to standards and targets. So let's take a look at what happens first. So in our first requirement, we are supposed to explain what is results and dimensions. So results is very simple. They are things that have already happened, the outcomes. So here, the outcome of decisions and actions taken by management. This means that they've already taken action in the past and we kind of are looking at um, something called competitiveness or uh, financial results. So this is straight from the book. You don't really need to write anything more than that. As for dimensions, they are the drivers of future results. Now, there are many, many types of drivers that we can look at, such as quality, flexibility, and resource utilization. Uh, do you need to write all that? Well, this question only asks for six marks, so you don't really need to list down every single uh, element of the dimension over there. Now on to the second part of the requirement in the in the question, how dimensions link to standards and targets. So if you are uh, reasonably well read in the building block model, you should have noticed that the standards and targets are set for each dimension according to the appropriate level of performance. Now what I mean over here is that you don't set targets which are beyond what is required for that job, but you don't set targets which is too easy either. Of course, there's many factors which you as a manager would need to explore in order to set an appropriate standard. So this is quite a serious business here, setting appropriate standards for the level of performance. Okay, There are usually uh, three components that we talk about when it comes to setting standards and targets. They are ownership, achievableness, or achievable, and equity. So this is from the book. You should be reasonably well versed in the building block model. Now, uh, let's first talk about ownership. Ownership is where you set standards and employees need to be held responsible for the standards that have been set. They need to be, well, if, if let's say they don't achieve it, what happens to them? Or is, is there a carrot or stick approach? You know, Do they get rewarded? Do they get punished? If, the, if you set a standard which doesn't apply and it doesn't matter whether they do it or not, then there is no point in setting the standard. Okay, and next thing we're going to look at over here is achievableness and targets set should not be perceived as, as impossible. If you set a target which is impossible, then nobody wants to do it, right? So for motivation purposes, they should be achievable. One good way to focus on this would probably be benchmark to a fair comparator. A fair comparator could be internal or external. Um, of course, best practice would dictate an external one, but it can be internal as well, um, maybe to one of the best performing uh, divisions or something like that. It should match 
the same sector. So for in this case, Dutch board services has security and catering and quite a few other sectors. So you shouldn't be comparing targets between security and catering because they are two totally different businesses. Okay, so you should be benchmarked to a fair comparator. Of course, what is fair, a management needs to have some judgment. And finally, about equity, standards should be applied fairly and transparently across the entire entity. This means that these standards are not hidden, they are published, they are a published league table or a published scorecard, and everybody knows what standards are being applied, and any rewards or punishments or any, anything related to the standards is already known to all the people who have to live by them. So, so whenever we encounter any kind of issues, the standards are transparent. They are there. They apply to everybody of the of of which the same performance is required. So it's it's a measurable. It also means that um, let's say between um, manager A and manager B, they are supposed to be doing the same thing. So the standards that apply to both of them should be the same because they are doing the same thing. Okay. So in conclusion we can conclude this way. Um, the standards and targets set should indicate when achieved the determinants that drive desired results. Alright, so this is only six marks. six marks. It's a very short working over here. You can download the question paper as well as my bullet point model answer, which you can write in your exam. Bullet point model answer from the description of the video below. Um, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much.